Well, happy Sunday. Welcome back to 3 News. Thanks for sticking with us. The allergy count forecast. Remember, it is oak season and during oak season, let's say late March into early April, oak allergens are at its highest peak. And in fact, by tomorrow, they'll be medium to high. In addition to hackberry, mulberry, mold will be on the low side. Now, thanks to all the rainfall in the air, it did wash out a little bit of the allergens. But again, by tomorrow, Tuesday and Wednesday, we're heading into a very stable weather flow. And we're going to see a lot of sunshine by tomorrow, Tuesday and for Wednesday. So here are your weather headlines, mostly cloudy by tonight, and that's going to have an effect on the surface. Patchy to dense fog will form and then a warming trend into next week. Temperatures near 90 starting Tuesday, and that's going to be the trend going forward almost until next weekend. Meantime, temperatures very warm, upper 70s and low 80s at across the region. And it noticed this contrast over, let's say, the halfway mark over Duval County and also 59. You can see the 20 degree swing between Falfurius and Hebronville. That's thanks to a warm front that is pushing to the north and behind it plenty of warmth and humidity building in from the Gulf of Mexico. In fact, dew points are going to be near 70 for the foreseeable future until about Friday and that's going to have an effect again on the surface. Now right now visibility not so bad 10 mile visibility out across the board and a couple pockets out to our north and west and also closer to Houston thanks to some light returns on radar. But right now it is clear but with humidity high and calming winds overnight, I do expect fog to form overnight and come in from the Gulf of Mexico and some pockets may be patchy to dense. So if you're getting out early tomorrow morning around, let's say five, six o'clock in the morning, don't expect a lot of people out, but there'll be some pockets of fog to deal with and navigate through. So be careful out there on the roads tomorrow morning. Overnight lows only in the upper 60s, around 68 fog forming. Southeast winds very light at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Sunset around 745 later on tonight. And in the meantime, we just have a lot of cloud cover to deal with out across the region. Now you'll notice on satellite and radar, not a lot of returns on radar, but a lot of cloud cover building in from the Gulf of Mexico. And some of it is thinning out and it's just leading to a very humid setup from 64 to San Antonio to 83 in Brownsville. And for the most part, Texas is uniform in temperatures from the 60s to the 70s. Now, as we go forward in time, let's say into Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, a very stable weather flow builds in. In fact, high pressure pushes in from the south and that leads to a lot of sunshine and also very warm temperatures. In fact, look at the high temperatures by tomorrow, mid 80s, Tuesday and Wednesday near 89 and Thursday and Friday. I'm expecting our first 90 degree 90 degrees day of the season, at least for spring. And then it's not until about Saturday we start to get a change in the weather flow. A weak cold front is expected by the first part of the weekend. Meantime, tomorrow a nice day, morning cloud cover, patchy fog. Some spots very dense at times, mostly cloudy by the afternoon. Temperatures top out in the mid 80s with a little bit of sunshine to kick off the first Monday of spring. Here's a seven day forecast temperatures in the upper 80s and low 90s by Wednesday and Thursday. But again, it's going to be a very quiet and stagnant weather pattern uh, for the first full week of spring. Not really seeing much in the way of rain, but a cool front on the way by next weekend. Taylor. Thank you, Ryan.